system that gives way once acid enters the body. In strengthening these systems, we find that people with AIDS, diabetes, leukemia, sickle cell, in less than 48 hours begin to show you where their health has improved. And many who, has, who had AIDS, I have diagnostic sheet to show you the world that we have cured AIDS in 14 to 17 days. On the average, we cure AIDS three months, 90 days. We say that we are intelligent. We say that we are cosmic. We also go back, go further and say, I am spiritual. But imagine this, you spiritual people, that the day that your mother and father decided to copulate and make love, the sperm, the sperm of your father was already compromised with acid. And the ovum of your mother, likewise. So here you find a child like Sebi, born from a compromised sperm, a dictated sperm, and he's going to tell the world that he's smart. How could I be when the very structure of sperm that made me was compromised with blood and starch? But they were a part of me that was preserved. I didn't go to school. That was the better part of me. If I had gone to school, I would not have been able to afford myself as a servant on the level and in the perspective that I am doing so today. Why? Because schools would have interfered with me. Because the schools promote protein, enzymes, and vitamin. Well, these things have been used over the years. I do not promote those things. Because I'm like outside the box. I'm living in a, in a broader perspective where we find that the body does not need enzymes, protein, or vitamin. The body needs electric food. Being born from an adulterated sperm, I was born with asthma. At 27, I had diabetes. At 28, I was impotent. At 30, I wore glasses and I weighed 291 pounds. Here I am today now at 74, without any of those manifestations. Not that I'm as healthy as I could be or should be, because I started off eating garbage. I was eating everything that my mother gave me, which was garbage. None of it was complimenting me. But what this shows, that at the age of 30, I visited a Mexican in Cuernavaca, Morelos, which is Mexico. This man showed me that I was in direct violation of my ancestors. He took me away from all blood and starch, and he gave me these three bags. Each bag would last me a month. What was in the bags? A bunch of herbs, already grind up and mixed, but I never knew what the herbs were because that's a straight mark. Did you eat them, drink them? No, I made three cups of tea every day. I would drink three cups of tea every day. And at the ending of 90 days, I didn't have any disease. But at the end, yes, I would go into the bathroom five and ten times a day. I had a great big stomach. I was passing fecal matter for days, even after I didn't eat. 48 days after I didn't eat, I was still passing fecal matter. Then it was just mucus coming out. But what I noticed was this. Where was the mucus coming out? From the body. Wow. It's from the body, my bowels. Well, what I remember, I, I loved it and I have it in the book that when the first seven, 14 days, uh, the first seven days I was dizzy. Mm -hmm. From the seventh to the 15th day, no, from the first day to the seventh day, I was calm and pretty. I felt good. But from the seventh to the 15th, I was dizzy every day. I was dizzy, I had to crawl to the bathroom on my all fours. I went to the bathroom for a whole week on my knees, on my hands. I couldn't stand up because everything was moving. Mm -hmm. But on the 16th day when I woke up, it was a peace that I didn't remember. A peace that I never remember in my life. Then on the 27th, on, on the on the 20th day, I didn't hear the wheezing in my chest that I used to have with asthma. Then my diabetes, 140 and 200, mm. no longer exists. And How much do you weigh now? I only weigh 150. 
eight pounds. How much were you weighing? Two hundred ninety-one. So, by the end of twenty-seven day, on the fifty-seven day, I woke up, and this is where an argument come into my brain. When I was a little boy, all the men in Honduras from Trinidad, from Barbados, from the United States, they would have these conversations in the barbershop. And what they would always say, that if you want to please your wife sexually, eat a lot of eggs raw, and drink a lot of milk, and eat a lot of raw meat or, 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 or meat for protein. Well, these things are the very things that interfere with your life. Now I didn't eat anything for 57 days and when I woke up after not having an erection for two years I was impotent. Why am I not impotent when I woke up on the 57 day? Why my penis is erect? Because my body got the opportunity to drain itself of the buildup of calcification, cholesterol, triglycerides and the rest. So now the orifice, which is the penis, is spongy. It needs blood to flow to erect it. But now, those little orifices are clogged. But in 57 days, they were drained out. And I think I was very happy. I recognize that the black woman, I repeat, the black woman is from whom we all came that are black. So if I came out of a black woman, how could I be as smart as her? I don't understand how I could be. I believe that I'm few of the black men or males that understand that. That the black woman is of a greater equity to the union than I am. Because she and she alone is what trains the cops. You will never see a cub following a lion. Cubs follow the mama. Because the daddy can't treat, teach the cubs anything. It is the mama that teaches everything. But we have gr grown into this philosophical man that we help to compound the problem by putting our woman down. So did you I come am back not one of them. Too? That had to come from slavery because if I ask the religious people they're going to say God said that but if God said that maybe God was talking to some other folks instead of some black folks in the falls of Africa because in the falls of Africa we were one the resonance of a black woman ovium is of a higher vibration than that of a white man's sperm the ovium of a black woman and the sperm of a black man is of the same vibratory rate. They come from the same genetical structure. Now, whenever a white, a black woman ovulates, in the first days of its ovulation, that black sperm is going to find it and impregnate. And there is the result of a baby. But when the black woman is ovulating, and she's married to a white man, the white man's sperm does not have the same vibration as that of a black woman's ovum. So what's going to happen here? The sperm is not going to be able to penetrate because the resonance is greater from here, pushing it back. So when does the white man's sperm impregnate a black woman ovum? When the ovum is on the second or third day dying, then it goes in. But the babies is the result of that. This is why you would find that the babies from a union of black and white is weak with a bone or eyes. But they will show signs of disease. Because it is not black with black and white with white. If a white man make a baby with a white woman, that is affinity. When a black man make baby with a black woman, that is also affinity. You see, Gorillas doesn't have babies with polar bear, and buzzards doesn't have babies with pelicans. But human beings believe, but it's okay, another human being. Yeah, maybe so, but of different genetic structure. So that is forbidden 
in the laws of life, that does not that never happen. Within the cosmic arrangement, animals doesn't crossbreed. Only human beings so in the name of love. I think I'm the only black man on the planet that isn't spiritual. I think that's me. Because everybody else is. But in the state of spirituality, they don't even know what they're supposed to eat. Mm -hmm. That undermines that position. That really is crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, the question is asked, what did we eat in the forest of Africa? But don't you ask any of the historians, the anthropologists, the archaeologists, the Egyptologists, the historians, they don't know. They simply just doesn't know. In fact, we are so ignorant as to who we are and where we came from, we call it Africa, we call it Ethiopia, we call it Africa.